gonna freestyle this with Mox, but since uh, since Jeff's here, we'll wait for Mox. But this is just on some. This is different. If you do, if you listen to a lot of hip hop, you probably don't hear people busting over acoustic guitars like this. So we gonna go like this. Hi guys, thanks for getting down. This is not prolific. K love is in the sound. Breaking ish down over profound and sound. Guitar type style is what y'all watching now. People in the back row acting like my raps go off like a rocket ship past the stratus at post. Fear yeah, he's in the clear. I think just the the beauty of music is what really just inspired me. You know, like I I uh, I saw like the soul of it, how it how it really transforms lives, changes things, and uh, it just um, really fills people up. And I think that that old soul of music, um, especially within ethnic races, um, Hawaiian music, uh, the Black Soul, you know, the Negro Power movement of that era, um, the Motown, like. Those, these were people that were getting a, a podium and a chance to speak in a way. Um, the Hispanics, you know, we're, we were getting a chance. Brown and black people were getting a chance to speak on a podium that they'd never have before, and people were listening because of music, you know. So that era, especially, I think, is what really inspires me to this day. Is that era of people making music straight from the soul because that's what they're going through at the time, what they're feeling, what their love is, and they're saying, "Hey, you have to listen to this," and you want to listen to it because it's that good, you know. <laughs> With the album I'm working on right now, um, I haven't even listened to a lot of hip hop. You know, I listen to a lot of jazz. I've been listening to a lot of Billie Holiday, um, a lot of Etta James, a lot of old soul. You know, even um, even Buffy Saint Marie, like that old. Um, just a lot of just just music in general. I feel like a lot of people probably are inspired that way. But for me, I think my my brain just works really backwards. Like I take a reggae song that I hear and I'll pull out every element of that that I can think that will be hip hop and I'll try and plug that in. So really I just think of it as like, I think maybe a lot of people, even friends of mine, when they set out to make music, they set out with the intent of making hip hop music. Whereas for me, I just kind of like, I kind of just have set out in what I'm doing in my life with music to just make music. It just so happens that the good Lord blessed me and it comes out in rhyme. I'm a former Marine and uh, I went through, I went to Iraq and all that and a lot of people I think when uh, Parents, especially when they come back and you know you, you have a possible career path ahead of you, and your son comes home and says, "I'm gonna pursue music." <laughs> a lot of parents will probably be like, you know, have a heart attack, fall over, die, get mad, disown you. Um, my ohana was just huge. I mean, they really just—they told me how they always tell me, you know, if you're gonna do it, go for it 1,000% and don't stop. Um, on the professional level, I was—I'm I, heavily inspired, I'd have to say, by the great lyricists of the '90s. Um, Tribe Called Quest, De La Soul, Most Def, Talib Kweli, Big Pun, Tupac, um, you know, even some, you know, Bay Area, Mac Dre, like, uh, really just, just people who kind of forge their own path, you know, um, as far as music goes. Um, within the underground, I would have to say that I would be remiss if I didn't say that I, I had a huge influence on me by Brother Ali um, of the Rhyme Series crew. Uh, he just, in kind of a formative years, a few years ago, he, he really, Listening to him really inspired me. Um, and then on a personal interactive level, um, uh, Big Mox, man. Big Mox is, that dude has been grinding out forever and uh, he, he just does it and he, he always is there to kind of kick me in my okole and tell me, you know, keep going, don't stop, you know. Even when I feel like, you know, I'll get down in the way people are receiving stuff sometimes and he's always just like, always pushing me forward. Um, and then, you know, of course the fam in the bay, uh, Bamboo of the Native Guns and Rocky Rivera, they, uh, they both have held me down in a huge way, um, just showing me love and being accepting of our music over there and pushing our music to that group of people over there. 
I, I feel like if I could do anything in this, it would be to pass on, you know, any knowledge that I have and just see generations to come know that they, you know, be it dance, be it art, be it video, you know, film, um, singing, rapping, whatever it is, like, you can do it, you know, like, do it and do it to the best of your ability because that way you can be that person that they say, look how good he is at what he does. Oh, and by the way, he's Hawaiian. By the way, he's Filipino. By the way, he's Samoan. By the way, he's black. Not, oh, look how good that Hawaiian rapper is or look how good that Filipino rapper is. But you're judged by how high your bar is set for your craft and thus you get to put back and give light and, and give hope back to your people. Hip hop most definitely has had a positive effect on my life. Hip hop is what gave me kind of the drive slash hope that I can do something that I really love and 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 get people to recognize like the, the passion and, and the level of commitment that's put into it, you know? I mean, in some ways, there's days, you know, where you feel like it's never going anywhere, it's never gonna be more than what it is, this little bubble that you have, and hey, that may be it, that may be it. I don't, I don't know, you know, but, um, the effect of that, of knowing that when you put your mind to something and you dedicate every ounce and drop of you into it, and then you put that out there and people receive it, you know, even when one person comes up to you after a show and tells you, man, I really felt that song right here. Like, I mean, a lot of people would say that and it's probably harder to believe for people that's not, from people that's making money, but you can trust me that I, <laughs> I ain't making no large amount of money. So when that is really the payment. Your ancestors are very important to you in our culture, um, and those that came before you are very important in our culture. Um, and so for me, it's kind of a natural transition with hip hop. Um, those that came before me um, are very important, you know? Um, the ones that did uh, what we didn't do, you know, they, they really, uh, they, set the, uh, they set the tone and the pace for everything that I was able to do. You know, a lot of people nowadays aren't, they don't recognize that, and I think, a big thing of that isn't even necessarily in hip hop, it's music in general, you know. These people kind of appear out of nowhere and just become these overnight stars and there's no recollection. It's like they're, they act as if they're this entity that came out of nowhere. And yes, while you may be doing your own thing, that own thing was somewhere along the line inspired by someone else's own thing. So I believe that with my whole heart that giving homage and paying respect, you know, if I could have a a pet peeve about hip-hop, um, I would probably say it's the whole craze of people dropping the best rapper alive thing on their tracks, on their mixtapes, whoever it be. Not one person in general that I have a problem with, I just have a problem with it in general because I just feel like hip-hop in general, it, it, it's not about that, it never was about that, you know, and to box our music in that way is only confining ourselves because it's just that, at the end of the day, it's music. You know, and so when you break down hip hop, you break down rock, you break down blues, it's all music at the end of the day. And it's either good music or it's not. So I believe that the truly great music in the form of curating it, the best way to curate that music and make it the best and keep it classic is to make it transcend that box of this is hip hop, this is the blues, this is rock. Because the things that still get played today are those type of things that transcend that box. Over anything